Today we've gathered together the Creative Tech Cluster in South Wales to focus specifically on work around VR, virtual reality and augmented reality. So it's kind of natural for the rest of the country, I think, to look to Wales for, for creativity. So it makes sense to me that VR would be here and there's a lot of very clever people in that room. Uh, it was very exciting and to meet them all and get talking to them. Uh, so basically I'm a creative director at Rewind, so I work on projects with brands, with agencies and with creative clients to make VR content across 360 through to real-time VR uh, and basically try and make cool, exciting experiences and stories for people to enjoy in uh, VR, AR and MR. Well, it's a natural fit for Wales because outside of Wales uh, there's a big reputation for you being a centre of excellence for drama, particularly. Uh, and obviously with the Welsh National Opera and WMC, I think it punches well above its weight. A lot of interesting stuff is happening down here in Cardiff. Um, Cardiff has a, a long history of being a, an exciting media hub for TV and film as well. And it's great to see what's going on in the, the, kind of the new creative spaces of VR and the like. I think the event went really well. It was a really vibrant, energetic, engaged room of people. Um, I was one of the speakers today. I was talking about um, 360 video and audio work that we've been doing locally in Wales to test the lower end of VR. But it was very interesting to see some of the higher end of VR talks and particularly the ones from Cardiff University. Uh, I've been talking at the BAFTA event, uh, talking about VR and the journey it's going on to, to reach the mainstream. Well, I was presenting for you guys, um, but I'm representing the Wales Millennium Centre because we're doing a big learning project um, based around Tiger Bay the Musical, which is a fabulous um, original musical, and there's not many of those. Um, and the whole idea is to tell the story of Cardiff Bay, otherwise known as Tiger Bay, and how it evolved to today. We're really looking at why it was a multicultural place, why it was so cool, the difficulties that it went through, and then the rise of the suffragette movement. I hope there was a lot of learning that took place in terms of sort of peer-to-peer -peer environment. I hope that people have a better understanding of the work that's being done in South Wales and shared across the UK, across the world. I'm very excited about the VR Festa, partly because um, we tend to work in a bit of a silo sometimes. Um, we have a lot of uh, resources and a lot of programme footage and quite a lot of pressure in the BBC. Uh, and we tend to find that um, we get focused just on the next project. And sometimes it's good to um, spread your wings a bit and see what else is going on and to take, a, a, in this case, an, a bit of an aerial view of what's happening across the industry. Um, and I hope that we are able to develop the conversations amongst people who are working in the cluster so that we have better connectivity and better opportunities to engage going forward. And I'm hoping that something like today I can get some interesting contacts and uh, start some new projects.